European climate agency called uh, Copernicus um, said that the 2023 was 1.48 degrees Celsius uh, above pre-industrial times. That is, I think you can figure this out, just barely below 0.02 degrees Celsius below the 1.5 Celsius limit that the world helped to stay uh, within in the 2015 Paris Climate Accor Accord. Of course, we left that accord in 2016 uh, when Donald Trump uh, came into office uh, to avoid the most severe effects of, of climate warming. January 2024 is on track to be so warm that for the first time in a 12-month period will exceed that 1.5 degree threshold. In other words, the planet is not really aware that we start the year on January 1 right. and end it on December 31st. The trailing 12 months of January at this point, um, if January maintains its global climate, I mean, its global uh, temperature, then we'll have hit it for 12 month, uh, for a 12 month period of time. And, to, and sorry, just I should say, June through the end of the year last year uh, was the warmest recorded temperatures on record for that particular time period. And, you know, just to be fair, to help out and so that we're we're not going to be, you know, I don't want to be spreading, uh, you know, uh, Inf climate change misinformation. Right. We should say that this only goes back to... Um, they, they can only be sure about this uh, for about, I don't know, 125,000 years. So... Um, we need to see some more data. Yeah, we can't confirm before then, but... But here's the, here is the uh, point about that, even for... Because, uh, you know, 50% of the, this country, uh, we have a major uh, political party that still sort of denies any of this in some fashion or another. Um the most important thing to understand in terms of the implications of this is that whether it was 125,000 years ago or 4 million years ago or a million years ago or uh, uh, even like 75,000 years ago or you know what even 10,000 12,000 15,000 years ago we have built our civilization our cities the means in which we get power and water and et cetera, et cetera, uh, around the way that the climate was in pre-industrial times. So really two or 300 years ago was when a lot of this stuff was, you know, in some instances, uh, different countries have been around for longer. Cities have been around for longer. But the point is, is that um, we have built cities in places which we cannot sustain and um so even if this were the natural order of things and we're just going into ice age part two because of god or whatever as opposed to our own human consumption um it still doesn't really change the material realities of what we're dealing with which that's right is that's right our urban centers our major ports um our most densely populated areas are subject and let alone of course like the global south which will bear the brunt of uh capitalist excess the the they're uh, the, they're still facing that reality regardless of the um what, what created it even though we know what created it 